Welcome to Esalen Live, where we chat with change agents and swim deep waters in an ongoing exploration of human potential. I'm your host, Christine Chen. Welcome. Esalen is still closed to guests while we respect the current COVID lockdown, but our guest services director, Stephanie Lewis, is using this time to refresh a few things to get ready for when you come back. And one thing that you might not know about her is that one of her passions is photography, which is kind of a spiritual practice for her. So we wanted to bring her on today to bring you a little bit of Esalen and some inspiration too. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, everyone. Uh, we look forward to opening as soon as it's safe to do so. And um, in the meantime, we're really putting some love and care into the property and getting everything clean and updated, um, eagerly awaiting to reopen. Well, it's really nice to see you. I mean, the last time I saw you was in the fall. Um, that was like September, I think, but it just looks so beautiful. Can you tell us what the weather's like there today, what the property feels like, how it smells? Like we're just loving every little bit of Esalen that we can bring in through the camera. <laughs> tell us what's happening there Yeah, today. <laughs> um, it's extremely windy today. Uh, we've had a really high surf, so we've seen some really beautiful, powerful waves. Um, pretty much for the last two or three weeks now. Um, and very salty and misty. Um, it's really beautiful at sunset, just seeing the golden hues with the mist from the wind. So it's a really beautiful time right now. Um, and just waiting for the wind to really die down. Uh, it's a little intense at the moment and wild. <laughs> Well, nature is such a big part of the inspiration when you come on property to Esalen and you come to these workshops that Esalen is so in love with delivering and will deliver them again um, sometime in the near future when it's safe to do so. But I know that for you, the property itself is an inspiration, not just for photos, but for your spiritual practice. And you shared 10 of your faves with me. This is uh, the beloved art barn. Can you tell us what was going through your mind or what your state of mind was and how this um, helped you practice and just stay centered, just to look at things like this through your lens of your camera. Yeah, um, this one I was actually taking photographs of the property um, just to have some for incoming faculty uh, once we reopen. And I wasn't quite in the best mood, um, but the art barn is one of my favorite places just to go and, and meditate and I, just saw this beautiful lighting and um, I would snap like 20 photos and find the best one and just really bring it to life with a little bit of editing just to highlight the natural colors um, that don't always um, come through on the original photograph. Mm -hmm. And it, it really just brings me a lot of joy. Mm. And then the coastline on the way to the bathhouse is a, an iconic walk. And there's a lot of emotions that get stored for those of you who have been on property to just that just that place where you took this photo. Um, where is that on the property? What emotions does it evoke? And, and how did you come to take this photo? What does it mean to you? Yeah, this one uh, was coming up from the tubs actually uh, during the summer. So this was right as we were reopening for the first time after our first closure in 2020. And um, it's just it's just a really still moment of time. There wasn't a lot of traffic and there's hardly anyone on property. So it's just very soft and elegant and it always just makes me stop in my tracks and really soak in the beauty. The sound of the surf is ever present on property. Is that part of something that inspires you to just soak it in through the lens of your camera as well? Tell us about this photo. Yeah, this is over from the farm, um, at the very end of the farm. It's really quiet and it's definitely the place where I, where I find peace. And uh, during the pandemic in particular, I've become a lot more introverted than I've ever been in my life. Um, so whenever I can hear the waves crashing, I just love to capture the intensity. I think our, so many of our emotions are super intense this past year. We come into 2021, they don't seem to be letting up. So um, just the, the surf is so powerful and um, really humbling and in, in how small we actually are. <laughs> Stephanie, I want you to know through Facebook, you're getting a lot of love and keep the love coming. You know, we feel you, <laughs> those of you joining us on Facebook Live. The pink 
of the sky over the waves. Like this is stunning, Stephanie. What happened here for you? Um, this was definitely during meditation, uh, right after meditating. I love to meditate at sunset at the end of the day over, this is by the art barn. So this is my very special spot that I, that I like to go to when I just really need to, to ground. And I just, for me, the color of sunsets is just so mesmerizing and just absolutely unbelievable sometimes that the sky creates these beautiful colors. Where does it take you? in your mind and in your body when you come to this type of scene and that makes you want to capture it? Um, a lot of gratitude. Um, just forever grateful that I'm here and um, that I get to be a part of this really special place. Um, not just Esalen, but just the beautiful coastline of Big Sur. And um, yeah, it just, it, it brings me gratitude and it humbles me. Um, it instantly erases any bad mood I might be in. Um, so yeah, it just, it brings me a lot of inner peace. So famous for the sunsets at Big Sur and every day that there's a sunset, you just wonder if there is going to be another one that is more beautiful than that. And just every day brings another form of its beauty. Can you describe why you took this picture and where you were? Yeah, this is right by the pool deck and this photograph was, um, Kind of a funny one. I didn't, I wasn't sure if we were going to get much of a sunset, um, but I feel like it really, for me, it's all about my mood, uh, capturing my moods. And it was really intense. Um, and just seeing that the kind of the light coming through the darkness. And I think that that's just been so pivotal for, for my mental health. Um, and yeah, this, this photograph just really captures that. It's just like, peeking through the dark clouds um, and it actually ended up being very gorgeous with a lot of pink afterwards that I did not capture <laughs> so I thought it was done but it fooled me <laughs> and of course we love our gardens at Eslin uh, when was this photo taken because I know that the gardens right now don't look exactly like this tell us when this was taken and then if you can share with us what's happening in the gardens right now Daniel's coming on with us tomorrow by the way to talk a little bit more about gardening but uh, share this about the yellow blooms at yeah, this one is actually over in the farm. Um, so that's where I spend a lot of my time these days. <laughs> um, and this was just like two weeks ago. So these flowers are actually bloomed right now. And we're super fortunate that we just always seem to have flowers. Well, there might not be as many as there are during the summer and fall. Um, we do get these little, um, you know, bright bursts of yellow, which bring a lot of joy, at least into my life. And I'm sure into many other people's lives. Yeah, I didn't know that they were blooming exactly at this moment. I thought that they weren't, so I'm glad that, to hear that. And the wildflowers there, tell us about this photo. What, what, yeah. was, the, yeah, what was the practice here? Um, this one is just, again, one of those sunsets. Uh, so this was during the golden hour and um, just walking through the garden. And just, it's about seeing the lighting. Uh, when you see the golden hour and the lighting is just so perfect, on the flowers I always stop and my partner always gets stopped too <laughs> um and I always since I was a little kid I've always noticed the flowers so I'm I have probably 20,000 photos of flowers <laughs> um I'm not even exaggerating but uh yeah that's that is just a, actually a couple weeks ago as well and the friend our and, friends the hummingbirds do you hear them on property right now yeah, they're everywhere. This is also just a few weeks ago, the same day as the, the yellow flowers. Um, yeah, they were flying all around me. There's like three or four of them. Uh, they got as close as they've ever been. And I just sat down and um, just kind of waited for them. And this one, I just like to laugh at because he's so fluffy. And usually you see them and they're really sleek, <laughs> but he looks a little like irritated. <laughs> Um, but if you look closely, you can see all the pollen on his beak. And uh, I didn't realize that till a little bit later. Um, and lately I've been photographing actually a lot of birds and the, just the details of birds are so um, phenomenal to me. Like they're just, it, when you take a photograph of them, you can actually see all the little, like the pollen on the beak and the detail of their eyes. And it's uh, really beautiful. 
Stephanie, I imagine, and this is like my own practice too, that when you pause to notice something, it just brings you deeper into the present. Do you find that with your photography? Yeah, I do. I, um, I often feel like it's a visual journal. Um, and for me, I like to just capture those moments. I grew up as an army brat. So uh, before social media, all I had was photographs of the places that I lived and the people that I've met. Um, so photographs are really special to me, just connecting with, with my friends and family and nature. And it definitely brings back that moment of time. Awesome. I also feel like whenever there is a visitor to Esalen, a guest at Esalen, there's undoubtedly the photo of the baths. Um, tell us <laughs> what, what kind of emotions this evokes for you when you revisit the photo that you took of a different time here at the baths. Yeah, this was uh, right when I came back to property. So right before we did our little friends and family stay in July. Um, and the sky was just so beautiful. And the ocean was really calm and the flowers, of course. <laughs> um, and I was actually cleaning the tubs with Karina, who is our healing arts supervisor. And we just stopped and took photos of the tubs. It's it's a really unique time for them to be so empty and they're super duper clean, <laughs> which is really nice. And um, yeah, just having the tubs to yourself is just a really moving, humbling moment and uh, just brings so much gratitude and, and just feeling really grateful. Uh, every time I sit in the tubs, I just think how incredibly blessed I am that I'm, I'm able to just sit in these tubs and I know so many people are anxious to come back and do the same thing so um, yeah it's really nice to share them through photographs. You were mentioning that they are super duper clean so when we do reopen there is a different protocol um, mm -hmm. for the lockdown rules. Uh, can you can you share how like that's even become a little bit of a benefit because it's they're definitely a little bit more spacious is that right? And I'll go back to the photos. Yeah, so, so a bit. <laughs> yeah, we only allow um, you know guests or pod, I should say, to to soak in the tubs together. So it's not a communal tub, um, which is nice in some aspects for me personally. I love the people I meet at the tubs, um, so I am excited for that to come back. But during COVID, uh, we do have a reservation system and. We make sure that each tub is cleaned afterwards and um, just really sanitary for everybody so they feel safe. And it is, you know, quite magical um, to just have a tub all to yourself. Um, yeah, and just kind of bring, brings you a little bit of solitude. <laughs> yeah, I definitely felt that when I was there in September. That's when you and I met for the first time. Catherine said, we loved our visit two years ago for the Midsummer Summer Festival. Thanks, Catherine. And Leo said, would love to come. Leo, book it now, because <laughs> when we reopen, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be kind of a lot of people that want to come back. And this last photo that you shared with us, so beautiful. Any photo of a lotus flower is super inspiring to me, but tell me why this one for you. Yeah, this is over at the Murphy house and I've only ever seen like one or two lotus flowers um, at a time in any of the, the ponds that we have. Um, and I went over to the Murphy house and there was at least 20 of them bloomed at once and they were all this pink color, which was just so beautiful and captivating. Um, this is another one where I probably had like 50 photographs and this one just really captured all the details of the flower, which um, is another thing that really just captivates me, flowers and just how perfect they all are in their own way. And um, yeah, I mean, I think lotus flowers bring inspiration to most people, you know, the story behind them. So mm -hmm. um, again, during a pandemic, it's it gives you that ray of hope. Yeah. Well, for for example, for me, the lotus flower is such a symbol in the yoga practice and in the mudras practice of, of transformation, new beginning. And also you mentioned earlier, out of the darkness and into the light. And lotus flowers come from darkness and into the light. And you, it's almost like they come out of nowhere, but the stuff has been under the surface for a while. Do you think that that's a part of what comes into it when you 
are just stopped to see every single lotus flower just seems like it never should have happened, but it did. Yeah, I was definitely taken back by it. And um, it's just, I always feel like they're little gifts from the universe. Uh, anytime I see anything really spectacular like that, uh, that butterflies do the same thing for me. And um, yeah, it's just really, it really does stop you in your tracks and just kind of connects you to, to everything else. Um, like we're one part of this, uh, but nature is so vast and so grand and um, it's just really connectedness for me and belonging to nature. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, is there anything you want to share with guests that are about to book for when we reopen? Is there anything that you could tell us? Any information? Yeah, we, um, we have some things open right now um, past March 1st. So we're really, really hoping to reopen March 1st. Um, as long as everything goes well and we're just, you know, following the guidelines of our county. Um, but yeah, feel free to pop around and you can call our reservationists. They are still working. You can answer questions and we'd really love to welcome you back and make sure that you're cared for. Yeah. Stephanie Lewis, our guest services director, whose passion of photography is a spiritual practice. And we hope you enjoyed her photos. Any last words of wisdom, Stephanie, for taking pictures? Because I feel like that's become a part of our <laughs> lives these days, yeah? Yeah, um, I would just say capture those special moments and um, all photos are beautiful photos. Yeah. Thanks so much, Stephanie. I'll see you again soon, I hope. Yes, <laughs> have a good day. Have Bye, everyone. Day, Stephanie. Bye, everyone. Stay connected, everyone, here at Esalen.org or on Facebook and at Instagram at Esalen. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Go take some photos, make some memories, have a spiritual practice. Always a practice. Take care.